Hi, I hope you are fine. Welcome to this presentation from this channel. The channel is well known as the Geography Conceptions. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about several terminologies related to the disaster management. Um, there are several terminologies which are now used in the description of the disaster management concept, but there are major four terminologies that are used to describe these concepts. And there are three terminologies which support the description of the term disaster. We cannot describe the term disaster without the support of these three terminologies, which are hazards, vulnerabilities, risks, and um, to start with hazards, what is hazards? Hazard can be a substance, can be an event, or phenomena, or sometimes anything that have potential to cause a negative consequence to either individual, community, and their properties, or sometimes it can cause a negative consequence to the environment or environmental resources. So anything, any event, or any substance which can cause a negative effect to the people or to the environment is considered as an, a hazard. Now, example, an earthquake is considered as a hazard because it can cause a negative consequence or negative effect to the people or environment. Also, flood. A flood can also be considered as a hazard because it can lead to either environmental destruction or disruption of the people's livelihoods or people's settlements and so on. Also, famine. Famine is considered as a hazard because it can lead to this disruption of the people's livelihoods. And there are so many hazards uh, like lightning and the, any other hazards. But the point is that anything which can cause negative impacts to the people or to the environment is a hazard. These hazards may occur either naturally or by people's influence. That means there are natural hazards like earthquakes, um, flood, uh, volcanic eruption, and so on. But there are other hazards which may be influenced by the people, like uh, pollution uh, and other phenomena or event which are influenced by human activities. Another terminology is vulnerability. What is vulnerability? Vulnerability refers to susceptibility or resilience. The key point is susceptibility. Susceptible to to hazard susceptibility resilience that means being stronger to cope with a certain hazard is a susceptibility or resilience of individual or sometimes groups or community to a particular negative consequence of a hazard sometimes you may find some people in a particular community community are more susceptible to a particular hazard. For example, the people with poor housing condition are more susceptible to the to an earthquake due to their uh, weak housing condition, meaning that they can be easily affected by an earthquake. By 
but also some people may be resilient to a certain hazard. For example, we say a climatic change is an hazard, but there are countries are more resilient, resilient to the climatic change due to their developed technologies, maybe irrigation technologies, meaning that they are able to cope with the climate change effects. Now, vulnerability is a susceptibility or resilience of individual groups or community to a particular negative consequence of a, a hazard that are likely to affect them. And it entirely constraints or factor that limit people to cope with a negative consequence. Sometimes there may be constraints or factors that limit an individual or limit a particular community to cope with or to deal with the negative consequence of a certain hazard. That's why the vulnerability vary among the people or community based on social, economic, and political situations. The people with stronger economics are more resilient to a particular hazard, while the people with weak economy are very susceptible to a particular hazard. Now, let us move to another technology, which is risk. Now, I think we have experienced the term risk in most of economic and business studies, but in the context of disaster, we say risk is a probability that a negative consequence of a hazard are likely to affect a particular individual or community. Meaning that sometimes you may find the, a certain individual or a certain community has high probability of being affected by a particular hazard or any, any other events which can lead to negative effects. For example, during the eruption of COVID-19 pandemics, most of the, the medical officers were at high risk due to the uh, contact with the COVID-19 patients. Now, the higher the risk, they have the probability of having negative consequence and vice versa is true. Now, let us move to the term disaster. Now, because we have understand the meaning of those three concepts now we will be able to understand easily the term disaster because if I, if I said earlier it is so difficult to describe the term disaster without understanding those three technologies now what is disaster a disaster refer to the disruption that affect a particular community and their property or a particular environment and its resources, leading to damage that exceeds the capacity of a community to cope with the destruction happens. We see now, a disaster is a disruption that affects a particular community or a particular environment and it is, it is damaged it may be considered as disaster if it is damaged exceeds the capacity of the community to cope with the destruction happened that's why we say hazard can be a disaster only if it's damage or destruction exceeds the capacity of a community to cope with its negative consequences. If the negative consequence of a certain disaster 
can be overcome, it cannot be considered as a disaster. That's why some countries are not uh, they are not consider the climatic change as a serious disaster because they are able to cope with its negative consequences. But in some countries, especially developing countries, it is a serious disaster because its negative consequence cannot be overcome in these countries. So any events, if it not overcome, the, its negative impact can be considered as a disaster. Now, the vulnerable people are more prone to the disaster because they have lower ability to cope with the negative consequences of the hazard. Now, every disaster starts with the hazards. We cannot have disaster without having an a hazard. All this meet the statement developed by the disaster crunch model or sometimes called the pressure and release model. This model was developed by the by the scholar Black Keys in the year 1994. The disaster crunch model states that disaster happen only when the hazard meet with the vulnerable situation or vulnerable persons, meaning that the vulnerable person cannot able to cope with the negative consequence of the of an hazard. And now if the hazard meet with the vulnerable station, it may lead to the disaster. As you can see in the illustration, when hazard meet with a vulnerability, it may lead to the disaster and not otherwise. If hazard meet with a resilient or resilient community or resilient person, it may not lead to the disaster. Event with potential with potential negative consequence if it meets with any vulnerability it may lead to disaster and that marks the end of our presentation I would, I would like to thank you to for taking your time to listen to me our channel is well known as Geograph Conceptions so please subscribe to this channel and also you may write your comments on either criticism, suggestion or any other point of views. Otherwise, have a nice moment and thank you for listening.